I always wanted my own club, but it had to be right. And then about it had to be right. Just can't do it to be a big shot. I see this club come up, the guy couldn't get it off the ground. So I came in here one day, I'm like, what the hell? what's this guy doing wrong? You can't get this club going? So I put a little money into it and uh, it had to be a location. I need that location. You know, all these guys think that because you're in the strip club business, you know, the gentleman's club business, you're making all this money, this and that. Those days are done. You gotta step outside the box and get that stuff back in here. You know, how are you gonna get it back in here? Now, I seen this club and I said, we can do this. This is what I'm looking for. Everything has to be right. It just can't be, oh, I'm in the club business. I have the liquor license. I have the cabaret license. It has to be right. I seen 18,000 rooms open up in my backyard. I said, this is the one we want right here. We gotta get this club. Everybody said, Bel Castro, you'll never get it. You'll never get it in a million years, blah, blah, blah. I wouldn't take no for an answer. I was like, is that right, huh? Like, do you want to book my action? Because I'm going to get that club. And they're like, don't even try, don't waste your time on it. I'm like, all right, whatever. I go, you don't think I get it? I, I know I'm going to get that club. So uh, it took me about a good year to get it. But what makes this club so unique is the landscaping. It's, uh, it's like Hugh Hefner's house. You come in here, you don't know what this, you come in here, it's like art. You're coming, that's what I was saying when I, you can't just be in this business and be a big shot no more. Those days are done with. Forget about it. I don't, I don't get, you know, everybody thinks you're making all this money and this and that. The money will come, but you need the product. You need the location. And then once you have all that, then when you come into Bada Bing, you're like, wow, look at this thing. This is a five diamond resort. This is like the five diamonds of gentlemen's clubs. And I guarantee if you can find one better than that, better than this club right here, i like to book your action on that too. Cause I honestly believe when you get done seeing this club from A to Z, you will not find a better gentleman's club than this. I mean, I flew my chef in from Italy. Flat out from Italy, there's a half million dollar kitchen back there. It's no joke. We have a VIP entrance that nobody else has. I mean, that's what separates us from the other guys. I'm not bashing on them. But they just, I, I'm a local. I lived out here my whole life. I know how to do it. You know, the old saying is, don't do it all if you can't do it right. You know, you have to put your heart and soul into it. And you know, and, and I love when people say, no, you'll never get it done. You'll never get it done. But brother, it's already done. I see that these other clubs around town, there's no customer service involved, zero. I walk in there, they wanted $50 to sit down. Uh, you know, $500 for a bottle. Brother, get out of here. I ain't paying no $500 a bottle. Your compass is broke. You $50, you know, then you go to another club. They want $200 to sit down. So what I did is I invented the program of all about customer service. I took all the casino workers and I took them to my club. We made a big family in here. And they've been with me since day one. It was like going to Iraq. I mean, we went through the ups and downs. We're still going through it, but right now, you can see it, it's like a brand new flower just blossoming right now. It's just coming out. It's the hottest thing in town right now, the Bada Bing. It's the hottest, it's the hottest thing. We're gonna take care of that thing at the Bing, customer service wise. Uh, when you're gonna come out here, you're gonna tell 20 of your friends. The best advertisement out there is word of mouth. And we got a menu to pack the whole summer. And they say summer time's the slowest time to be in the business. To me, I don't believe in slow time. It's, uh, I got something on the menu every week. Something's going down every week. You gotta step outside the box for a minute and get these people in here without banging them out. And that's the secret to the business. So the box event went good. Um, it went better than I thought it was. It was, um, they called us up, wanted to know if we wanted to sponsor it. It was Crown Boxing. Uh, all of them were called one. And uh, it was nice knowing that his, him and his son were both on the card. They both ended up winning that night. And, uh, it was a great event. I was really, uh, I was really impressed with the whole thing. Bob Bean Pool Party was something that uh, I promoted about six weeks ago. I just want to show you thing what the Bing could do. You know, nobody else could do. You know, no way. The, these owners don't know how to st step outside the box in, in the Vegas market. They don't know how to step outside the box. That pool party that took us eight weeks to put that deal together. Eight weeks. Sent a few emails out to a few people, but boom, they told their friends, their friends, friends. We blew it up out there. You guys seen it? It's no hidden secret. You guys go out there, you, it was a success. It was a success. If it was a success, I would have never done it. You know, but if you're gonna, you know, if my name's gonna be on anything, it's gonna be a success. That I will guarantee you. It will be a success. You can't build Rome overnight, but I bet you, I bet the house on it 
will build it quicker than anybody else.